It can happen in an instant. A fire or an accident can lead to a major burn, like what happened to Brett Sigworth. I went into complete panic mode, just screamed. I mean, I've never... I've never experienced pain like that in my life. Serious burns often end up in burn centers, like the UC San Diego unit profiled in a Discovery Channel documentary. Severe burns are among the worst injuries a person can suffer. One of the first priorities is trying to cover the burned skin to prevent dehydration and infection. What you want to do is get the wound closed as quickly as possible. Then you wouldn't have to make a new wound by harvesting skin from the patient from somewhere that isn't burned. The associate director of the largest burn center in the Northeast at New York Presbyterian Hospital says that usually means covering the burns with cadaver skin from a skin bank or with pig skin. If you clean the wound and, um, and you could cover it with uh, one of those materials, the skin would have as good a chance to regrow the part of it that was lost. But what if there's not enough donor or pig skin for a burn center? Doctors in Brazil have come up with an ingenious solution. Use what they have plenty of, fish skin, or more specifically, tilapia skin. Seems that by carefully harvesting, processing, and freezing skin from wild and farmed tilapia, a major food export in Brazil, doctors are able to use it as a dressing to cover burned skin. Dr. Bessie says that's not as odd as it sounds because... If they can make the wound warm, keep it moist, and have it relatively free from bacteria, they should have pretty good results. Doctors at the Federal University in northern Brazil are testing the tilapia skin on their burn patients and say that so far it speeds up healing by several days and reduces the need for pain medication. And just like human or pig skin, it's a temporary bandage, which the body eventually sloughs off or is removed by doctors. Now, Dr. Bessie told me that doctors in Brazil are also using something else they apparently have plenty of to treat burns. Believe it or not, that's frog skin. <laughs> Meanwhile, researchers in the U.S. and Australia are developing synthetic skin grown in the lab from stem cells, which may be the future, but right now it's very expensive. And it's also slow to grow, so you need something much more quickly for burn victims. Well, what's next? Chicken skin? I mean... Well, no, I don't know about chicken skin. you got to pull those feathers off. That's never <laughs> any good. But it sounds amazing, though, the concept, right? It work. I mean, it's, it's, it's pliable. It's, it works just like sort of human skin or pig skin from, you know, skin banks or whatever. Does what it's supposed to do. Why not? Yeah. Necessity is the uh, mother of invention. It yes, sure it is. is. Thank, Thank you, you Doctor. Thanks.